Well, one of Louisville's oldest neighborhoods is gearing up for its landmark art show once again this year. The Butchertown Art Festival features diverse work from more than 60 artists from all across the region. It is returning the first weekend of June, and it's set up against the backdrop of historic homes from the 1800s. Lauren Hendricks is with the Butchertown Neighborhood Association, and Mark Webb is an artist. First time person coming to the festival this year. Can't wait to talk about your work and, and what you expect this year. But Lauren, this is just one of the most beautiful art shows just because because of the environment alone. Yes, yes, that's true. Yeah, Butchertown is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Louisville. And, um, you know, that's something with, um, that we're very proud of as neighbors, um, as those of us on the Butchertown Neighborhood Association who put on this event annually. Um, it's it's a way to bring people into the neighborhood yeah. that maybe they're not, not used to to going, you know, it's a great pass through to Waterfront Park and to mm -hmm. Nulu, but Butchertown itself has a so bit. much to offer. Right, right. So you have 60 artists in this show. Where are they from this year? That's, yes, that's correct. We have about 60 artists. They're from all over the region. And um, the Butchertown Art Fair is a juried art show. What does that mean? So what that means is these artists are hand selected oh, wow. by a group of people who know what they're doing. <laughs> and um, just to make sure we don't have too many repeats and that we really yeah. have some high quality art. How do you select the different styles and genres from each space? We just saw, we saw some beautiful artwork yes. there, some jewelry from another. Uh, is there just like a little bit from each space? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's there's so many different artistic mediums um, that exist and so, really you know your best art shows have a little bit of everything from mm -hmm. there and you know also take it into consideration you know about how many artists are at this art show so you know you don't want half of them to all have the same thing right so, um yes there's a group of skilled people who are able to look through the applications and really pick out um, you know, the best of the best with a good variety. Right, and Mark, you're one of the best of the best. Congratulations. <laughs> well, thank, you. thank you, I appreciate that. It's your first year at this event. This what, is my first year at the event. What, what, are you, uh, what are you looking forward to about being in this show? Uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of exposure for my art. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the art that I'm doing now, uh, the majority of what I have at the show is, is fairly new for me. Mm -hmm. um, abstracts are new for me, so I'm, I'm looking forward to showing to, them off. To showing, showing off the abstracts and getting feedback. Tell on us them. what you brought here today and, and how you how you do your art. Sure. Well, I brought uh, three pieces today. Uh, these are all abstracts, and uh, it, it's fairly unusual. My source for these are all commercial dumpsters. What? So these 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 are all shots from commercial dumpsters that it. Like they, what do you mean shots? Like the, photographs? These are photographs. So these are Mark. so these are oh photographs goodness. I do of commercial dumpsters. Uh, but I, it I, doesn't look like when you say photograph, this doesn't look like a photograph. Then what do you do to it? Not much. Not wow. much. Not much. I, I do get that feedback from a lot of visual artists that are that are uh, working oils or acrylics or pastels that they notice. Yeah, they're probably uh, like, what are you working with? Right, acrylics, they, 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 what, right oil? the textures yeah, and things like that. With? It's like, no, I work with a digital camera, exactly. See, now when I look at it, I want to reverse engineer this and go, how, what, wait, <laughs> which is art, which makes mm -hmm. us just look and wonder and, and think, what am I actually seeing? This piece, that's when I walked in, I said, this is absolutely stunning. Thank, thank you, yeah, we, we have, have uh, uh, printed this, uh, the large 24 by 36 in an edition of five only. So I think this is number number three or four of five. Mm -hmm. So we're, this is a very limited edition, uh, G clay print with pigmented ink on rag paper. Uh, uh, so that's that's what that's what we've done with this large one and made it a limited edition. Is this a dumpster too? Oh, the, absolutely! All of my all oh of my, my gosh, abstracts. It's hard to believe. <laughs> all my How abstracts are the size of a commercial dumpster. Know. Like you know, this is it's just one that I'm just like, what in the world? It's just absolutely stunning, and it just it, you get lost in it, Mark. Mm -hmm. You really do, as you're just looking at you know just the color and the images and and what you do is is pretty incredible. Thank you. And th this this one came, you know, each dumpster has its own story. So this was they were they were renovating a coffee shop on Shelby Road and they had the dumpsters out as they were doing the demolition so so I went over there one morning I saw them and I'm taking and the workers are like what 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 yeah, are you doing? what are you doing so then I had to show them because these these uh, uh, this may only be a, a six inch or an eight inch piece mm -hmm. of a dumpster yeah. so I, then I had to show them and then they were all Oh, come over here, Mark, and look come at on, this come one. On. Come wow. over here, Mark, they and look at that one. They all feel like they're part one. of the art process. Yeah. You know, look at us creating <laughs> they now. Are. They're right. They are. And right. there's a, I think what's great, too, is, is that's the beauty about going to many of the art shows in this art show, to be able to talk with the artists, right? Like, that's yes. the moment that you get to, like, have this conversation and talk about how you did it that I think that when you take that piece home, 
it just means that much There's more. A story There's to a it. whole story yeah. to it, right? Yeah. Uh, and the other story behind this festival, it does support, yes. you're supporting the neighborhood and giving back by attending this event. That, right? is, that is correct. So although the Butch on Art Fair is free, it's completely free to, to come to, it's free parking all around the neighborhood. Um, it takes place on the 800, 900 blocks of East Washington, so easy to get to. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a fundraiser. So we raise money through the artist applications, um, but the majority of our money is coming from our sponsors. Mm -hmm. We have very generous sponsors who allow us to put on this art show. Um, and then with the money that we make from the art show, we put it back into the neighborhood, to the preservation, to the beautification. But then we also an annual, annually um, donate to several charities um, in the neighborhood and around the neighborhood. So. No one's pocketing right. anything. This You're is something that's back. all going back and, into and the that's, community. That's why it's one of the premier right. art shows each and every year. And of course, we want to mention it is coming up June 1st and 2nd. There are food trucks and yes. fun and all live that too. Music. Live music. Uh, it is June 1st and 2nd. For more information, as well as the times, great parking available there on the street. Just head on over and follow Butchertown Neighborhood on Facebook.